Virgo. Thank you for coming to my channel. This is just going to be a reading. I'm not going to date it because um, time is fluid. So when you come across this is probably when you're supposed to. So I'm asking the angels and spirit guides to tell me um, what does Virgo need to know. So this is a reading of what Virgo needs to know. So I've asked what does Virgo need to know for their highest good. So the oracle cards go here, which are all for you. The tarot cards over here, which will be the energies around you. But you could show up over here as well. So take what you can use and leave what doesn't connect. What is going on here? This is crazy. So vice versa, the queen and king on the cards, where they would apply to you in your situation, and welcome cross watchers. And use your intuition when I read the cards on who you feel they apply to. Your first choice is probably correct. So the first one that comes out for you is Polite Declaration 10. You can move in whatever direction you need to to accomplish your goals. It is time for you to get out there, claim what is yours, and stay in your power. So there is some ending that's happening for you, Virgo, but I feel like it's an ending you wanted to happen. You're very happy. I feel like passion is being renewed in you, and you're being able to move um, towards something you've been wanting to move towards in a very, very long time. And you you just have a lot of heart, happiness, and a lot of passion in you right now to move forward. And you're excited about moving in a new direction, the possibilities. And the next one is 41, Convey Your Meaning. So this is the Mori Eel. Reflect the way you communicate with others and with yourself. Be sure to express your thoughts and feelings from your heart are with respect and sincerity. So this is the Mori eel. They flinch their jaw a lot and it scares scuba divers is what I've heard from some divers. That when they see the Mori eels, some of them get nervous. Some of them don't bother them. But they're very intimidating. So I do feel like Virgo, kind of pay attention. So wow, you have an ending and then change. So pay attention to the way you talk to people. I feel like you're going to be starting a new cycle here soon and just you can make it however you want it but just try to pay attention to how you talk to people and try not to get people to misread what you say. Alright so now I'm going to switch to the Chakra Wisdom deck. So change and ending but like I said so spirit, angels, ancestors, what do you want Virgo to know? What does Virgo need to know for their highest good? What can you tell Virgo that they need to know for their highest good? So the first one is the Hermit. Wow, look at that, Virgo. Wow. So this is telling me that you're getting answers about something. Something is becoming clear to you. You're getting clarity and you're going to move in a new direction with, like I said, a lot of heart chakra, a lot of passion. You're ready. And then the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune tells me that a lot of you have manifested what's coming to you. I see new beginnings. I see love. I see money. I see travel, new directions, choices. Um, just a lot of new beginnings for you, Virgo. So Princess of Swords. Princess of Swords is I'm telling you that somebody's spying on you. Somebody's looking on your social media, really intently watching you and paying attention. So Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands talks about you taking your life and your belongings and going in a new direction. So I do feel like somebody is intently watching to see where you're going in your life, if that makes sense. So Two of Cups. Wow, this is somebody who sees you as beautiful or handsome, Virgo. This is like true love. Somebody who, look at it as clarity and then true love. So somebody sees you clearly as their true love. So Six of Wands, wow, you are going to have victory and success over the transformation, the Wheel of Fortune. You have put good energy out to the universe, a lot of you Virgos, and it is getting ready to come back to you ten times fold. I do see this. It's like, wow. Um, yeah, new beginnings. And this love, I feel like, is going to be successful. And then you have Four of Cups. So Four of Cups tells me that the person who's spying on you is somebody from your past who loves you, but it didn't work out. So they spend a lot of time looking back on 
what didn't work out and their how it failed maybe and they just spent a lot of time keeping tabs on you because they miss you ten of cups wow somebody sees you as their ten of cups their happiness their husband wife material it's clarifying the ten of wands so you have two tens here about um and look at ten so you have so many new beginnings coming into your life right now virgo so ace of coins you have success in coins and stability and love look at this Clarity, love, and stability with coins. Wow, 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 Virgo. So the next one is the chariot. The chariot is communication, traveling, going in a new direction. I feel like this is specifically saying you're going in a new direction is what I feel right here. You have victory and success. Look at two, the coins and the victory and success. You have been waiting for this to enter your life for so long, I feel. I'm talking years. It's finally here. It's here. The what you've been waiting for. You are getting ready to um, make a major change. So then you have Princess of Wands. So Princess of Wands is new beginnings again. I feel like this is somebody um, around you. Somebody who's protected. Very young. Very naive. I feel like this person is very protective is what I'm feeling but I do feel like this person watches you maybe they kinda wanna copy you is what I'm feeling for some ideas and then Ace of Cups look at this you have coins you have love I mean I can't believe this one two so you have how many aces wow so this is a really good reading Virgo started out really good I'm gonna switch to the mystical cats tarot deck now wow 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 so I and, encourage you to leave me messages because it looks like a lot of you are getting love and money at the same time and that is beautiful because only the people who are deserving are going to get it unless the people who have reaped karma and then they could get it and get it you know deal with the karma they but for me this is good karma this is the virgos who have put good karma out to the universe it's coming back to you so Sky King is somebody very cold, somebody who doesn't communicate with you. They're watching you. I feel like they feel like they're better than you. Five of Earth. So somebody's watching you. We have like three cards, four cards of somebody watching you. So people are watching you, Virgo. And then Ten of Sea. So Ten of Sea talks about a place where you used to be able to go and feel comfortable around friends or a home arrangement or traveling to a vacation every year. I feel like that's ending. That has ended for some reason. So four of C. So four of C talks about depression, somebody who can't see the light at the end of the rainbow, somebody who, so I feel like somebody you're moving away from that you're ghosted or whoever these are. You have two people. You have somebody who watches you who's very cold. You have somebody who watches you who's sad. And one of them is very depressed, I feel. Like they're stuck in a rut, basically. So nine of sky, wow. So this person is very stressed out. They can't sleep. I feel like they can't eat. They're really worried over something. And then sea kitten. So this person was very unstable, very immature. They couldn't commit to you. They couldn't ground themselves to you. So you moved away from that. And then strength, Leo placement. Look at that. So you have strength over... Um, the friendship situation on choosing who is for your highest good and who isn't in the friend department. So death, wow. So I do feel like you may be ending some sort of friendship. This is an ending. We have a lot of endings here. A lot of things are ending for you, but it's going to lead you to better and bigger things, Virgo, trust me. So you have strength, but something is going to end. So let's keep going. You have Fire Tom. So Fire Tom is somebody stressed out because they took too many chances. I feel like this player brought too many people into the relationship. And so it caused you to just say, go play. Go be in and out with all the people you want to, but don't come around me. So then you have Two of Sky. So this person is aware that they have a behavior they've carried around since childhood. Something they picked up. I don't know if it was a trauma situation um, that happened or a, something that hurt you in the love department where it affected you to where you can't be 100% open and loving to other people. Or somebody's around you like this. Is this somebody around you or you? I'm not sure. I feel like this is somebody around you. This is this player energy. 
they got hurt when they were young, whether it's their parents, a family structure they followed where they didn't make their own family structure and their own path. They just followed the family structure of what they saw done. And so it led them to just not be able to be stable. So the next one is Demon Cat. Ouch. So this could be Capricorn energy around you. This is toxic energy. So this person's hurt from their childhood. A love betrayal has made them very um, toxic. They're toxic energy. They're upright, masculine, angry energy. You can vice versa if it's a feminine for you. So the next one is strength and balance. So you have strength and balance over the situation in this um, Capricorn toxic energy. You, you can balance it out. You know how to make it not affect you and balance yourself out and just push that away is what you can. I don't. I know a lot of people let drama and chaos affect them. Virgos aren't very good at that. Virgos will be done with it before they ever really try and figure it out. So the Oracle of E is time to fly 44. So this tells me you've learned something. You've mastered a skill. You've mastered something about yourself that's going to move you into your next life cycle that you're going to prosper. We see A if you add 44, which would be infinity. I feel like you're getting ready to catapult yourself forward towards your new life that is going to be very different than what you've lived up till now. And then you have baby steps five. So you have five, five. Look at that. And then we have 10 and 8. So baby step says that you're moving forward. It may seem slow to you. Some Virgos are very impatient. They don't have patience. So it may seem slow to you, but the universe is putting you at the course necessary for you to prosper and be productive. So keep that in mind. Try not to jump ahead. Um, but yeah, you're moving forward. You have mastered something. I don't know if it's a lesson you learned or something about yourself. So then you have 22 relief. So we have 44 and then 22, which if you add 22 could be 44. So I do feel like there's something you are releasing that has been a burden to you your whole life up to this far. Something, I don't know if it's an attitude where you carried around that you were going to try and help the toxic people um, who were hurt in their childhood and they don't know how to love and you were going to fix this person and help them learn love and you may have learned that that is impossible. That is not your job to fix somebody because um, you put a lot of effort in, I felt, and this person didn't put any effort in. So you're getting ready. You've realized a lot of things. You've changed. You've moved forward. You're getting ready to release a big, big burden, something you've carried around for a lot of years. You're releasing it, and you're moving in a new direction with, like, freer energy, calmer, peace more, peaceful energy, into a happier life cycle. You're leaving the dark behind. You see this dark house here and the dark clouds? You're leaving that. So I don't know if some of you are moving out of a dark gray area to a sunny area because I see the rays here. And then we'll do the next one. Is creativity number four. So whatever is happening right now is making you creative. It is giving you new ideas. It is giving you new energy to burst forth with new things in your life. So whatever is happening is also healing you, but it's also giving you new ideas for the future. Really good reading, Virgo. This might be my new theme every week. I kind of like that. I was trying to think for the last couple days, what could I use as a theme to say to Spirit for the readings? And it, it just came to me, ask Spirit what they want you to know. So autumn, release the old and rest. So this basically tells you release the energy that doesn't can, doesn't get along with yours anymore. So friends that um, you don't feel like you get along with anymore, you're not compatible with, maybe you guys have changed your friends, you've changed your direction, you've changed your life path. People who don't support you, it's time to release these people and move on. When you release old energy and negative energy, new energy and new people come into your life. And the next one is High Priestess, Harness Mystic Power. Wow, Virgo. So this tells me that the High Priestess has a lot of ancient knowledge from past lives. There's a Metrodon symbol in there, the Black Cat Bast. I see a lot of... She has some tool here in her life, in this life you do, Virgo, that you can use 
to gain clarity. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's a dream state, but I do feel like a lot of you have, um, you're here for some past life connection that you're going to fix in this life. I'm not really sure. Something you're going to, okay, let me put it this way. I feel like you're not here to fix it. You're here to bring it up to speed with the way the world is now. So you're bringing something up to the current energy, is what I'm feeling. Wow. So I hope this helps you. Thank you so much for the support on the channel. Bless you, Virgo.